Do y'all feel the electricity coming out of Romania? We do, because Voltage has just won Selectia Nationala, the Eurovision selection in Romania, with the song De La Capat, from the start. Now, Bogdan, you're a juror in Romania, or you were this evening. Tell us what you thought about the song. Well, it all started in November last year when it uh, was released officially. And uh, together with the video, which um, you might have seen, and uh, I got very emotional. I remember I wrote a comment on the YouTube channel, on their YouTube video, saying something like, uh, to the effect of, uh, you should have warned me that this is going to have an emotional impact on the viewers. Because, yeah, I was very emotional. And for those of us who don't speak Romanian, could you explain the message of the song? Sure. Um, De la Capet, um, which means from the start, or as the official uh, English version is entitled All Over Again, is about uh, the parents, the working parents who leave uh, Romania to work abroad, usually in uh, Western Europe, uh, and they cannot take their children with them. So they leave them to the care of uh, other family members or grandparents. And the children grow up without parents, basically, and only receive, the, receive gifts for Christmas or something like that. And it's funny, in a way, because it's paradoxical, because the parents leave to give their children a better life, but then they rob them of, uh, I don't know, having parents. So that's... Uh, yeah, that's the subject of the song. Stirring stuff. Robin, how did you feel listening to this? Yeah, I had, I had a similar, um, you know, very emotional um, feeling the first time I heard it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't understand the words, but the combination of the emotion of the, the, the song itself and the video, um, it, it just, I could tell, you know, there was something going on there. And I think... That's something that's really important with when a song is in another language. If it can convey that emotion, then that's going to be a lot more successful to um, to the, um, audiences who don't speak the language. Absolutely. And I got this on first listen. I've been avoiding the Romanian song so I could enjoy the national selection this evening. So I was hearing everything for the first time. And when I heard this, I really felt something. And I'm not that kind of person, y'all. I don't get emotional, but I was getting real emotional. Um, but Bogdan, there's been controversy about this song. There's a lot of hate going around on Twitter. Could you bring us up to speed? Sure. It all starts from the same thing that it was released in November, so it had a lot of pull. It was a radio hit for months, and now uh, it was entered into the Sadiqsa Nazionale, and it was not written with Eurovision in mind. And, uh, of course, the Eurofans have other favorites, like Luminitsa Angel or Larali or others. Uh, and they are not happy with the fact that a Romanian language song with a, a very Romanian message that cannot be easily translated uh, onto the revision stage could win the Selección Nazionale. Uh, and TVR, both TVR and the jury were uh, suspected of... Uh, trying to arrange this win for Voltage. But I think it was very clear from tonight's televote where they won that televote uh, that, uh, yeah, it wasn't the case. And uh, I personally didn't um, vote for Voltage to win. I had a different favorite. But, uh, yeah, this is the decision of the majority of the jury, so we have to respect it. And, uh, yeah, Team Voltage now. <laughs> And we're running a poll on Wooby Blogs where we ask which version of Voltage's song do you prefer? And 60%, 6-0, prefer the Romanian original. Um, only 9% say they like the English, and the remainder say the song sucks. But we won't include them. Now, Robin, how do you feel about the language debate? Um, yeah, I've, I've heard the English version, and the lyrics aren't as good. Like, they're not... Um, really poetic English lyrics. They sound like, you know, they've been written quite quickly or by someone who isn't a, a confident lyricist. So, um, like, I don't know, I couldn't compare the um, poeticism of the Romanian lyrics, but for me it just kind of sounds nicer than the English version. Um, but 
on the other hand, maybe they'll tweak them and come up with a better version in my work in English if they put some more work into it. Well, actually, tonight at the press conference, uh, we asked with the journalists to ask them about it, and they said that they are thinking about singing in Romanian with an English chorus, S sort of like what uh, Ruth Lorenzo did last year in Spain, in Spain entry. And I feel like with an LED screen, you can convey a lot of meaning without, you know, literal words. So even if they sing in Romanian, I think they can suggest to us what the meaning is and it will be effective. I mean, in the video, the official video, towards the end of it, they have the statistic come up about how many Romanian families, you know, are kind of living separately. Um, I think that works quite well. And normally I'd be like, why are you intruding on the story? Get out of the story, narrator. But I quite like it in the video how they've done it. So maybe they could do that at Eurovision as well. Because yeah, possibly. I don't want to yeah, they... children. I don't want no under 16 yeah. year olds on stage. Yeah, that's impossible. <laughs> there were, of course, other acts in the final tonight, and among them was runner up Lumenita Angel, Eurovision fan favorite, with her song A Million Stars. What did you guys think of her performance? Well, I was really impressed after seeing the dress rehearsal first, which was not so good in my opinion. She really brought it uh, at the final. I mean, and the public, the audience really reacted very beautifully to it. And um, I thought she might win. I mean, somebody um, tweeted me uh, during the show saying that, oh, during Luminita's uh, performance, I think we know who is going to win. So, yeah, it was, it was uh, impressive. Very nice. Yeah, I thought it was a it's a really good performance. Like she's an absolute pro, and she just completely delivered on the night. It was really enjoyable to watch. Her dances were really amazing. I thought that was good. Um, you know, I always think Romania knows how to put on a really good show, and that was you know, if she'd gone, if she'd been the winner, then she would she'd be a, a perfectly good representative. Mm, and I loved how she used those dancers, those fleshy, fleshy dancers, because um, this is like a classic ballad with the key change, power to, like, power, emancipated woman, and then they're the dudes half naked. I just love it. She, <laughs> she managed to kind of give this very classic song that slightly bit of, that slight bit of grit, you know? Um, Maybe I'm just talking nonsense, but I loved it. And her voice, you can't fault it. I mean, she responds to an audience. And so maybe in rehearsals and before, there was nobody in the room. But when those people step in the room, she turns it up. She cranks it up. And I really felt chills tonight. Uh, were you surprised that the gap was 24 points to Voltage, 18 points to Luminita? Um, yeah, I was surprised. I don't know. On the other hand... Um the agreement of the music critics in general, uh, both abroad and in Romania, was that uh, Luminita's song was not that modern, <laughs> to say the least. I mean, it was a good ballad, but maybe for five years ago. Oh, I'm just going to say that. Robin, what about you? How do you compare the top two finishers? Um, yeah, I, I got the feeling that I, I always think with people who are coming back for a second turn that they've had their go and maybe it's time for them to let someone else um, have a turn. So, yeah, I mean, she would have been okay, but, um, you know, I'm happy with, with the winners. I can see why they won. Great. And in third place, we had Ovidu Anton with Still Alive. And can I just say, I preferred Slovakia's Twins 2011 with I'm Still Alive. <laughs> that had Life, Daniela, and the Twin. They were working it. Ovidu, he does do. He has a good voice, um, an interesting look. I just thought this was a little cheesy. It was kind of Tennessee, Nashville country with a Romanian edge. And I just, I didn't like it. I thought his his punk look looked like looked styled like he'd showed up just in t-shirt and jeans and someone was like hey we're gonna punk you up man <laughs> and yeah it just it just sort of felt a bit it wasn't quite working well he did his own hair I can tell you that because I wasn't hearing makeup when he came came up and he was like do you have some hair gel and he was like Ch -ch -ch -ch, and I was like <laughs> What is he doing? Because he has the charisma of a potato. I'm sorry. <laughs> and he's doing that. I mean, but yeah, whatever. Um, 
the song the song is um I think it was too nineties for me to like Bon Jovi kind of style. Uh, but yeah, he's a very good performer. His voice was amazing. When we listened to this in the press selection, because before we selected the finalists in the jury, we didn't know who was singing. We just knew the name of the song because we didn't want to be influenced by names. And I, I thought for sure he was a, an international artist. Oh. So yeah, his uh, English and his delivery was very, very good. But unfortunately, he doesn't have charisma. That's my opinion. And I've always been curious, as a juror, did you arrive, you know, knowing exactly how you'd vote, or were you actually influenced by the live performance? It swayed you in some way across all the acts. Well, not only that, I was uh, watching this morning, this afternoon's uh, dress rehearsal, and I had one uh, kind of a scoreboard in mind. And then in the final, because they performed a bit differently, some were more improved, like uh, Luminita, and others like uh, Rodika Akulova was flawless at the dress rehearsal, and she was not very good at the final. So it was the other way around. So yeah, you have some kind of uh, preconceived uh, list in your mind, but then when you see the final and how they deliver it and uh, the, the live performance, it's, it's, it can sway you in one direction or another. And Robin, you were a juror in another sense, in that you participated in the Wee Wee jury, which is obviously just as influential. So tell me, were you surprised by any acts? Um, were there any other acts you would have rated more highly than the Romanian public? Um, I really liked Super Trooper. Like, they're a real guilty pleasure. Just their really fun kind of disco party song. That that was just, yeah, like, I have nothing other, like, guilty pleasure is, is the perfect description. I wouldn't have expected it to one, win, but they were really fun to watch. Um, Christina's Skirt of Fire, that was amazing. Yo, my cat and went crazy. That was that. very spectacular <laughs> indeed. Um, and I, I really want, I somehow want to, that to, to go to Vienna in some way. Like maybe I was thinking they could loan her to Moldova because I think that's a kind of like a Moldovan exactly. trick. But um, yeah, I, that needs to have another, another life. I just had this image of her not buying a plane ticket, but just turning on her dress and like, <laughs> shh, all the way to Austria. <laughs> and who was the woman who had two like ponytails covering her breast? Oh, that was her, I think. Oh, that's the was same that? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Christina. Yeah. There were so many sparks, I couldn't even yes, see above yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy. And you guys, Ruslana appeared at Romania's national selection, and she sang a song that repeated the word euphoria about 22 million times. What did you make of her performance? Uh, it was really good to see Wild Dancers. Um, you know, she's, she just she did that really well. Um, and then, yeah, she, she did that song that was, it was like, Euphoria, but not Euphoria, sort of her own version of it. And a lot of her songs sort of sound the same. They've got the similar sort of rhythms and um, styles. Um, so, yeah, it sort of felt like her, her, her act went on maybe a little bit too long. And then she was sort of got into that speech about the Ukraine and um, it was all, it got a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah. I remember Ovi going like, what is she talking about? <laughs> what is she saying? This is how you politicize <laughs> national selection, y'all. Um, it was interesting. I think she's very bold, and I respect that. But like that Euphoria song, I don't want to download that. Because every time <laughs> she said Euphoria, I was like, wait, that's not Lorene. Wait, this is not the same song. I was expecting her to say, you know, and it never got to that point. And so I was slightly disappointed. Um, in any event, final question for you guys. Do you think that Voltage, you know, if he sings in Romanian, if he sings in English, no matter, but Voltage with this song, can he make the final? Can he come top 10? Where are you putting him? Well, based on uh, the diaspora votes alone for, from Romanians living abroad, I think this is a sure qualifier. I don't know how well it will do in the final, um, I hate to predict things because after last year when I, I, I didn't give the Netherlands a chance and then you know what happened. But I think maybe between 
15 and 20, kind of, th that kind of range. Because with all these ballads, you know, that's the, the other issue with voltage, yeah. It's difficult. Yes, yeah, they've got something a little bit different. I think they'll easily make the final. Um, and I could see a top 10. Like if they have really good staging that picks up on the emotion of the song and if they're sort of lucky in the draw that they may be um, between a couple of the more lightweight performances and they'll come along and everyone will go, wow, they're so, they're so amazing, then they could do really well in the final. And this is an example of a song where I don't really care how it does. I'm just glad it's there because sometimes sending a song that has a message that means something is more important than winning, you know? Like in Sweden this year, we have John Henrik who's doing his Sammy thing and I find it quite soulful and I think it'd be a good message if Sweden sent that because he's not a white blonde Swede. You know what I mean? He's like a Sammy Swede um, of Colombian descent, no less. But in any event, back to Romania, I think that this song has an important message and people need to hear it and it'll generate some media buzz and I mean, it'll certainly make the final, but who cares if it comes, you know, 15, 20, 25? It's there and that makes me happy. That's what we think. What do you guys think? Let us know here on wooeblogs.com and on our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Pinterest, YouTube at wooeblogs. See you later. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.